Surface Pro 8 versus Tab S8 Ultra. Which one's better? Watch this video to find out. Now, both of these tablets are extremely powerful, but there are a few fundamental differences that you need to be aware of before making a purchase. So let me walk you through everything you need to know about these two tablets and thank you to Best Buy for sponsoring a portion of this video. Fundamentally, yes, both of these devices are tablets. They both have a touch display, but the biggest and probably the most important difference is the operating system. The Surface Pro 8 comes with Windows 11, so you can pretty much run any PC app that you want. You want a desktop version of Microsoft Office? No problem. You want Adobe Creative Cloud with desktop versions of Photoshop, Illustrator, Lightroom, Premiere Pro? You got it. You want to run AAA games? No. Well, yes, but we'll get to gaming later on. Now, the Tab S8 Ultra runs Android 11 and One UI 4.1, so you're getting a system that's specifically designed for a mobile device with a touchscreen. You've got a ton of apps in the Google Play and Galaxy Store, but you're not actually running desktop versions of those apps. And there are pros and cons in both cases. The Surface Pro 8 can run desktop apps on a tablet, which is amazing, but remember that those apps weren't designed for a touch display. They expect you to have a mouse and a keyboard, which of course you can add. You can also connect an external display or even two if you use the Surface Dock 2, but if you actually use it as a tablet, you're dealing with a lot of really small menus and you also don't have the benefit of keyboard shortcuts. The Tab S8 Ultra can't run desktop versions of the apps at all, so that could be a negative, but the apps that it can run are actually designed for touch and in general, they're better optimized for a tablet. Now, the Tab S8 Ultra can also boot up in Dex mode, which gives you a desktop-like user interface with a taskbar, floating windows, and desktop icons. You can even pair a keyboard, mouse, and an external monitor for a dual display setup. Now, speaking of displays, the Tab S8 Ultra has a massive 14.6-inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 2960 by 1848. It has up to 120 hertz refresh rate, a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, and a pixel density of 240 pixels per inch. The Surface Pro 8 has a 13-inch LCD display with a resolution of 2880 by 1920. It also has up to 120 hertz refresh rate, a 3 by 2 aspect ratio, and a higher pixel density of 267 pixels per inch. And while all these specs are nice and the Surface Pro 8 does have a good display, the Tab S8 Ultra is just amazing. It might be the nicest display that I've used on any tablet so far. The colors are vibrant. It's super AMOLED, so we're getting very dark blacks. Now, the aspect ratio is amazing for watching video because the image pretty much uses up the entire display. And I'm not sure that a lot of people appreciate how big and how nice this display is until they actually see it in real life for the first time. But let me just tell you, it puts a smile on your face. Now, speaking of size, the Surface Pro 8 isn't small by any means. And while the Tab S8 Ultra is bigger, it's actually thinner and lighter. So you'll need more space to carry the Tab S8 Ultra with you, but it will add less weight to your bag. So you kind of have to make that choice. Now, in terms of the overall design, the Tab S8 Ultra has a more modern design with rounded corners, squared off edges, and small bezels all the way around. The Surface Pro 8 has a more outdated design, at least for a tablet. The sides are round, and there are larger bezels on the longer sides. Now, the Tab S8 Ultra does have a small notch that houses the cameras, but I will take that 100 out of 100 times over thicker bezels, which result in a smaller display. Now, as far as ports, this is a clear winner for the Surface Pro 8. The Tab S8 Ultra only has a single USB-C 3.2 port, and the Surface Pro 8 has two Thunderbolt 4 ports, a Surface Connect port, which I really only use if the other two ports are already occupied. And we're also getting a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, so you can connect wired headphones or a wired headset. Another nice design feature is that the Surface Pro 8 has a built-in kickstand. So if you don't have a case or a keyboard case, you can still stand it up and adjust the angle to whatever works best for you. But if you really want the best experience out of the Surface Pro 8, and if you want to get more out of the Tab S8 Ultra, you'll want to get a keyboard case. 
With the Surface Pro 8, I've been using the Surface Pro Signature Keyboard. I got this one in red because I just wanted something that was a little different. It has a very nice, almost velvety texture to it, so it feels really premium. The keys feel nice and responsive. There's a row of function keys at the top, there's a trackpad, and there's a slot for the Surface Slim Pen 2. The one knock that I would give it is that there's no protection for the back of the device. The Tab S8 Ultra is compatible with Samsung's Ultra Book Cover keyboard, which also has a dedicated row of useful function keys. It's got a bump out on the back to protect the S Pen while it's charging or during transport. And the keyboard can be separated from the back so you can still protect the Tab S8 Ultra and the S Pen when you're using it in tablet mode. I mentioned the two stylus options, but the Tab S8 Ultra actually comes with Samsung's newest and fastest S Pen. It's included with the purchase of the tablet, which is really nice. Now you can actually get the Ultra Book Cover keyboard for half off, which brings me to today's sponsor, Best Buy, and their Black Friday deals. So usually the Ultra Book Cover keyboard is three. 350 bucks. But right now you can get it for 175 bucks. Then you can go ahead and pick up a nice pair of wireless headphones with the money that you just saved. The Tab S8 Ultra itself is also $300 off, so you don't have to pay full price like I did. If you're getting the Surface Pro 8, it's also super heavily discounted, so you can get the Core i7 version for less than the Core i5 model was when I got it. For a stylus, you could get the Surface Slim Pen 2 for 130 bucks, but what I did was get the Surface Pro Signature keyboard and the Surface Slim Pen 2 combo, and you can save $53. Best Buy also has a price match guarantee. There are exclusive offers for Best Buy Total Tech members, and they have fast delivery options, or you can schedule an in-store pickup if that works better for you. So if you're looking to save money, check out Best Buy Black Friday deals for some great discounts, and thank you to Best Buy for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now back to the tablets. When we look at the speaker system, the Tab S8 Ultra has four AKG tuned speakers, versus a two speaker system on the Surface Pro 8. This two speaker system actually sounds pretty good for a tablet, but the Tab S8 Ultra has much better audio quality. There's more bass, there's more clarity in the mids and the highs, and in general, there's more fullness and more presence to the audio. So whether you're using these speakers for music, for watching video, or for gaming, the Tab S8 Ultra is the winner. As far as camera systems, again, we see the Tab S8 Ultra come out ahead, and that's both in terms of of hardware and the actual quality. So the Surface Pro 8 has a 10 megapixel rear facing camera and a five megapixel front facing camera. The Tab S8 Ultra has two rear facing cameras, a 13 megapixel wide and a six megapixel ultra wide. And it also has two 12 megapixel front facing cameras. And here's a quick sample. This is a camera and microphone test of the Tab S8 Ultra and the Microsoft Surface Pro 8. This should give you a pretty good idea of the type of image quality that you're gonna get out of these two devices and the type of audio quality that you should expect. When we look at processing power, it's important that we put things in context and I really want you to think about what you plan on doing with your device. The Surface Pro 8 that I have is powered by an 11th gen Intel Core i5. It's also available with a more powerful Core i7. Now the Tab S8 Ultra is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip. So even my version of the Surface 8 Pro outperforms the Tab S8 Ultra for both single and multi-core performance. And it's also available with 32 gigabytes of RAM versus 12 gigabytes on the Tab S8 Ultra. And this is why I said that you should think about what you plan on using your tablet for. If you're looking to run resource intensive desktop apps, then you'll be taking advantage of this additional power and it may make sense to upgrade the RAM. If you're running apps that are designed for tablets, then the Tab S8 Ultra has been able to just crush every app that I've thrown in it. And that includes running three tiled apps at the same time, which sort of brings me to multitasking. Now the Tab S8 Ultra has a fantastic multitasking experience for a tablet, but the Surface Pro 8 uses Windows. So there's significantly better file management as well as everything else that goes along with an actual desktop operating system. Now with all this work going on, you may be wondering about battery life. And again, it comes down to the processors. The Snapdragon 
Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip on the Tab S8 Ultra is designed for mobile, so it's a little less powerful, but it's also designed to be very efficient. The i5 and i7 on the Surface Pro 8 are actually designed for laptops, which typically have larger batteries and better thermal management. And in my experience, the Tab S8 Ultra lasts about three to three and a half hours longer, depending on what I'm doing. Now for biometric authentication, I use Windows Hello on the Surface Pro 8. The Tab S8 Ultra has face recognition, but I pretty much always use the on-screen fingerprint scanner. When it comes to gaming, things aren't quite that simple. So the Tab S8 Ultra has an incredible big display and it's powerful enough to run every mobile game that I've tried, including Genshin, PUBG, and Asphalt. The Surface Pro 8 has a more powerful chip, but it runs Windows. And in terms of graphic performance, it's not really able to run AAA titles unless you're using an external GPU or eGPU. You can also pair an Xbox controller with both tablets and then stream games using Xbox Game Pass, in which case games worked well on both devices. But ultimately, I'm gonna give the edge to the larger and better display on the Tab S8 Ultra. So when it comes to gaming as a tablet, the Tab S8 Ultra is the clear winner for me. But if you hook up an eGPU to the Surface Pro 8, then it's a completely different story. And that brings me to which device is better. And remember that I have links in the description to all the products that I talked about. So the Tab S8 Ultra has a bigger and better display, better camera and speaker system, better battery life, and a better operating system when you're using a touchscreen. And the Surface Pro 8 has a more powerful chip. It has an actual desktop operating system so it can run desktop versions of apps and it has more ports and more powerful ports. Both devices are technically tablets, but you really need a keyboard case to have the best user experience with the Surface Pro 8. So for me, it comes down to this. Are you looking for a device that's mostly a laptop and can do some tablet things? Or are you looking for an amazing tablet that can also do some laptop things? Now you should see how the Tab S8 Ultra compares with the M2 iPad Pro. Hopefully this video was helpful. Click on my face to subscribe. You know what I always say, buy it nice or buy it twice. Good luck and see you soon.